So here's where we are on the big 3D printer project. This is my FL son. Um, my other FL son. It's dead. It needs a new... Um, it's not completely dead, but it needs a new Bowden fitting here, which I don't actually think this is FL son's fault. I think I bought this one on eBay separately because it didn't include a Bowden fitting, but it broke. Um, it won't hold the tube anymore. Um, but I don't know if that was the complete problem because I also think the hot end was clogged, which is probably why this broke, because it was trying to push it through and it was building up pressure on there. So this is the hot end from my other FL son that I took apart for the big 3D printer because the big 3D printer gets an E3D V6 and these are V5s. But I have this one, so we will put this on here eventually, but I still haven't actually bothered because... Um, a few days ago, a friend texted... Well, I've been on vacation. It's part of why I haven't actually bothered. I haven't had a chance to. And then while I was on vacation, a friend texted me to say... I have one of these, um, and I'm moving and don't have space for it anymore. Would you like it? And I said, of course. Um, of course I would like it. Um, so this is an any cubic i3 mega, as you can clearly see. Um, it seems to be a pretty decent printer. Uh, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. The bed takes forever to heat up. The ultra base, I wish it was removable because, um, yeah, I, um, when my friend gave it to me, he had a failed print still on the bed and we had a really hard time getting that off. Um, but I think he had his bed leveled too close because when I printed on it, actually the print popped off right away after the bed cooled down. So that was kind of nice. Um, but I still wish the bed was removable because in case you have it leveled too close, it's really hard to get things off of there. Um, the filament spool holder thing's terrible and it, well, it's not terrible, but it's not great. And I can't use my pencil, my pencil back there because, um, the extruder's on the wrong side. Uh, the touchscreen UI is fine, but I'm not... I, I really had no problem with their generic um, LCD, but I mean, I guess the touchscreen is nice enough. Perfectly fine printer. Um, so I, my, my, I did, my friend actually did sell it to me, but he sold it to me for um, a very fair price. So, and I probably didn't even have to pay him. Um, but it was nice of him to think of me. So, yeah. So, I used that printer to print this, um, which is a replacement to this, because this needs a 40 millimeter fan to mount onto, and I, um, remixed this in 123D. This is an STL from, um, Thingiverse. I'll maybe link to it if I still have the link. Um, but I, I remixed it into a 30 millimeter one. So now we have the um, auto level sensor mounted and I just have this box because the bed can't get high enough currently because I'm still waiting on the manual leveling system which is gonna be some springs and stuff and that's still on the way. The bed's too low. But once it's on springs and stuff, um, and I wasn't even maybe I, I was maybe not even gonna put manual leveling in here as an option and just purely rely on auto leveling. But I do need to raise up the bed, and rather than I was maybe considering just three D printing cubes to raise it up a fixed amount. Um, but I think I would rather if I have to raise it up at all, I might as well just do manual leveling. But that means I have to wait for that to arrive. Um. Uh, and I got a long enough Bowden tube to reach the extruder, though the extruder is still not really mounted. It's just sitting there. Um, it's, I need to put some like bracket that goes over it like this, probably, is what we're going to do. And I have a short Bowden tube that will go into the bottom of this, which will allow me just to shove filament through there. It'll be good. Um... 
Yeah. Not a lot of progress at all. But again, I, I've been on vacation. I've only been back a day or two. Um, and I think my last video was made shortly before I went on vacation. So really, this is only a couple days. of. Um, I've really only had a couple days to work on it since you last saw it. And I've had other stuff going on as well because school's about to start, so that's fun. Um, yeah. Um, I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, so this is the first video filmed on the essential phone, so tell me how it looks. Um, I got an essential phone, I'll probably make a video about that. I'm refurbishing a bunch of them, but I can't get screens anymore because they're sold out everywhere. And they weren't sold out when I bought it some cracked essential phones, so now I'm stuck with some cracked essential phones. It's fun. Um, but... I actually have two fixed ones. One being auctioned off on eBay, but the other one's available. I'll probably auction it off in a day or two. But if any of you guys want to buy it for some reason, then, um, I don't know, maybe I'll link to it on eBay. Um, yeah. That's really all. Bye. Uh, and make sure to subscribe or whatever so you can actually see this once it's printing. Because I'm slowly getting there. It kind of moves. It auto level should more or less be working. I just need to get the bed on the manual level system and get everything good to go. Bye.